This video will guide you through the pairing and installation process for the SRAM Axis Blip Box, Blips, and Clicks. ETAP Access is an intuitive, high-performance group set that will allow you to focus on what's most important, your ride. View a full list of tools and supplies in the video description below and review the SRAM Axis Blip Box user manual at sram.com forward slash service. The Blipbox remote shifter wirelessly transmits a shift signal to each ETAP access derailleur when either the blip or click remote shift buttons are pressed. The Blipbox can be mounted on aero bar extensions, handlebars, a stem, or in an enclosure. The Blipbox is not required when the blips or clicks are connected directly to ETAP access road shift brake levers. The blip remote shift buttons can be mounted to any location on arrow handlebars and extensions, road drop handlebars with aero bar extensions, or road drop handlebars. A range of blip wire links are available to accommodate various mounting options. Press and hold the access button on the rear derailleur until the green LED blinks slowly, then release. For two by systems, Press and hold the access button on the front derailleur until the green LED blinks quickly, then release. Press and hold the access button on the blip box until the green LED blinks quickly, then release. Press and release the access button on the rear derailleur to end the pairing session, or wait 30 seconds for the session to time out. The green LED will stop blinking. Anytime a new access component is added, the entire pairing process must be repeated for all devices in the system. Install the blip box mount if using the strap, or cable ties to attach the blip box to your bicycle. Determine the blip box and wire orientation that works best for your setup. Attach the blip box to the stem with the strap and determine the best fit. The blip box should be snug against the stem when the strap is installed. Cut the excess ends of the strap. Insert plastic cable ties through the slots between the mount and the blip box. Then, attach the blip box to the bicycle. The blip box should be snug against the stem when the cable ties are installed. Cut the excess ends of the cable ties. Use the threaded insert on the back of the blip box for custom and enclosure mounting positions. Any screw installed into the threaded brass insert must not exceed 3 mm depth into the insert. A screw installed more than 3 mm will cause permanent damage to the blip box. For optimal performance in an enclosed space, the blip box must be mounted within 25 degrees of horizontal and must be mounted in an enclosure that allows the signal to be transmitted, or the shifting performance may be compromised. The access button can face either up or down, and the wire inputs can face backward or forward. Refer to the 2019 Road Frame Fit Specifications document for more information. Measure the distance from the blip location to the blip box and select the most appropriate blip wire length from the available blips. The blip wires can be routed internally or externally. Test fit the blip location and wire routing before attaching the blip to ensure the correct wire length is used. Each wire should be moderately slack at the connector when secured to the bar to prevent damage in the event of a crash. Remove one left and one right seal plug for each pair of blips or clicks to be installed. Do not discard the seal plugs. To prevent damage caused by moisture, the blip wires or seal plugs must be installed at all times. Reinstall the seal plug when a blip is removed. Make sure the seal plug o-ring is free of dirt and debris prior to use. Clean the mount surface with isopropyl alcohol before attaching the blip. Remove the adhesive backing paper. Attach each blip to the bar. Route each blip wire internally or externally to the blip box. Insert each wire connector into the blip box. The wire connector is fully inserted when the detent is felt. Use electrical tape to secure loose wires to the handlebar. Do not wrap electrical tape over the blip button, as it can interfere with button function. 
Install and rotate the blip grip to the desired position. Install the clamp, tighten the bolt, and press the end cap into the bar. Insert each wire connector into the blip box. Install each click wire internally through the bar extension to the blip box. Insert and press each click plug into the end of the bar. Insert each wire connector into the blip box. The wire connector is fully inserted when the detent is felt. To confirm all components are paired, use the blips or clicks to perform both an inboard and outboard shift of the derailleurs. Refer to the shifting section of the ETAP Access Blip Box and Remote Shift Buttons Manual for shift instructions. If the derailleurs do not respond, repeat the entire pairing process. Wrap handlebar tape around or over the blip to secure it to the handlebar or extension. The adhesive tab alone will not secure the blip to the handlebar or extension. Handlebar tape secures the blip to the bar. When removing handlebar tape, do not pull the blip wire from the blip box or access shifter. The LED lights up when a shift is performed. The color of the LED indicates the ride time remaining. To replace the battery on a blip box, remove the battery cap, then remove the battery from the cap. To prevent moisture damage, do not remove the battery cap o-ring seal. Insert a new CR2032 battery with the positive sign facing into the cover. Reinstall the battery cap. Rotate the cap clockwise to align the dots and lock it into place. Do not use sharp objects to remove the battery. Keep the battery out of reach of children. Do not put the battery in your mouth. If ingested, seek medical attention immediately. Do not disassemble, damage, or puncture the battery. Consult the battery manufacturer for safe handling instructions. After your SRAM Access components are installed and set up on your bicycle, download the SRAM Access app, available for free in the app stores. Use the app to create your account, add your components, and customize your SRAM Access experience. This concludes the SRAM Access Blipbox pairing and installation video.